Hello, good morning. It's Allison and I help people stay accountable to their health and fitness goals and I help other people help people do that. So, um, I was thinking today, I haven't been very motivated this week. I know it's like the week of motivation and I know I come here and tell you about motivation, but that doesn't always mean that I'm super motivated. I have been sticking to my workouts and my eating um, so, but that's more out of habit than out of really being motivated. But, um, and I have, you know, several reasons for being unmotivated. It's, um, there's a lot of studies on willpower and how that works for people. And it's something that you have a lot of in the morning when you wake up, but then not so much in the evening if you have to use a lot of it all day. It's not like, um, it's not a renewable resource. You can run out of willpower. So um, after like some stressful days where I'm making a lot of um, little decisions to do what I should, at the end of the day, it's like, you're just drained and there's also um, decision making fatigue where if you make too many decisions your body just goes on your brain just goes on overload so there's so many things that can kill your motivation and sap it and those aren't even half of them but if there is something you want to be motivated for you still want to get it back right because we all want to do things we all have goals and um, aspirations, things we want to do better. So you want to get it back, right? So thank you for the hearts, guys. Um, I really appreciate it. It's helping my motivation. So first, go on Periscope and get some hearts. Um, second, um, the you want to know something, have an end goal, have something you really want, something you can visualize. So it's not a weight on the scale. It's not, I want to uh, feel better. Have something concrete. I really want to finish this workout program. I really want to fit into these jeans. I really want, and I'm using a lot of, um, you know, weight loss and health stuff because that's, you know, personally what I struggle with. Um, sorry, I'm trying to switch arms, get a little more stable. Um, so how, have something that you can visualize that you do want, that you really do want. If your house isn't clean, I really want it to be cleaner when so-and-so comes over on Friday. So that's today, get on it. Um, but have something you really want then break it into small steps. I'm talking teeny, like step one, take a shower, like nothing. If you've ever, if you've watched Friends, there was the episode where Chandler and Monica gets ma get married and they, uh, Chandler's nervous. And so Ross tells him to just take a shower, then just leave the house. Like little itty bitty steps because as it's not so much that you're breaking it down into small like biteable pieces it's that each time you make one of those steps you are going to feel a sense of pride and accomplishment and that's going to make you want to do more so it's not so much about it being small tasks that feel more attainable and doable it's that these small tasks are going to make you feel like you're doing more because it's not, when you look at the big picture, it can be overwhelming. It can be um, so overwhelming that it's almost a deterrent to do it because you don't know where to start. You don't know what to do. It's going to take you forever to fit in those jeans. But break it into smaller pieces. Find smaller things that you can measure your success by each step of the way. So today, I worked out. High five to me. I took a shower and I didn't want to do either of those things actually, um, but I did them. So those are things I can check off my list. Now I know I've gotten a good um, start to my day and each small step to making my day as it was on any day I was motivated is going to help me 
do it again tomorrow and the next day and the next day until I do feel the motivation. Hopefully it won't take that long. But <laughs> if it does, I will be taking the steps. And because I'm trying, I'm doing better than if I said, Ugh, I'm not motivated. I'm just going to throw in the towel and um, not work out today and um, eat whatever I want. Um, so you, you do a little better anyway just because you're making those steps, even if you're not perfect. All right? So that is my, you know, a lot of these a lot of these morning motivations come from what I struggle with as well. So they are things not only that I want to share, but that I'm that I need to hear or I need to put into words. So thank you for listening. I hope it was helpful for you as well. And I hope you have an amazing day and feel lots of motivation by the end of it. Have a great one. Happy Friday.